Hello everybody, I'm a little close beta, this is Warriors, and today I will start a new series called Weapon of the Week. It's a series I kinda wanna do every week, as the name may suggest, uh, in which I pick a weapon and get some gameplay of it, and maybe give some insights on how to use it, and why it's so goddamn awesome! And seeing how many weapons are in there are in loadout, I think this series may will may very well continue for a while. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm uh, gonna let you guys take a look at this this beauty. This is called the uh, the storm, and it I th yeah it's a fitting name for sure because well as you can see, it creates a massive storm of Tesla and destruction and uh yeah well it's. Look at the arcing! Look at that Tesla arcing! That's why we use the Tesla arcing. It's the thunder that strikes down on the unfortunate souls that wander around in the Tesla flag storm. Or just the storm. Yes! Riders on the storm. You want to use this weapon on Blitz. And. Why do you want to use this weapon on Blitz? Be well, because that's where it's the most effective. Like, if you're not using this on Blitz, it I mean, it can still be good. I mean, I've I've done it. I it can, it's still very good, but it's, it it just you're kind of missing out on its full potential because uh, one of the things with Flak is like only the center of the explosion will will do significant damage. Like, if you're kinda on the outer edge of the explosion, you won't take a lot of damage. It's like... Yeah, it's 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 very... Damage is very centered. And if somebody stands still in the center of the flak, the, fl the storm, he will die. But how often does it happen that st somebody stands still and load out for such a long time that he w that you can load up your hexa barrel and fire off all the rockets. That won't happen a lot, so that's n that that won't quite work. That won't quite cut it. Uh, but yeah. Why do I pick Hexabarrel? Obviously because it's just the most rockets? Projectiles? Yeah. You, c I kind of like using the aluminum stock because you get the most aimed accuracy and as I said, you really want this your your target has to stand in the center of the flag, otherwise it just won't 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 do it for you. So you will need some accuracy. And the the key to this weapon, the key to this weapon, aside from Salvo, Salvo is awesome, guys. Salvo is fav my favorite rocket trigger. I love that. I love that. <laughs> but the the key the key to the storm probably has to be the corkscrew. The co what corkscrew does is it. Well, as you can see here, if I don't use corkscrew, all the rockets are kind of spread out across the across the surface. I don't know how you call it. It's just yeah, it, it's it, it, it's very spread out. But with the, with the storm, with the corkscrew, corkscrew. Oh my God, words! You can annihilate your enemy, like one enemy or multiple enemies. But it's just way more centered. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Center. It's all very compact yet you fire six rockets so I think that's a very cool property how salvo and you know corkscrew interact it's it's probably yeah it's it's awesome <laughs> I do not have a more accurate description than that it's it's very enjoyable yeah uh, and well as you may be able to see in my video I hope not but it kinda causes some FPS drops which is kind of to be expected Kind of a bummer, but also kind of to be expected. So yeah, um, there uh, you can you can kind of modify the weapon. You can use. I wouldn't recommend proximity. I would recommend either man. You can switch to contact manual. You do get a little bit less damage, but you can detonate it better. So that's something, and that that's m what you probably want to use if you're not playing on blitz. But yeah. I, I, I'm, I like contact just fine because uh, you kind of can aim at the ground in front or underneath your enemy and you can uh, may maybe put some laser guns on there instead so you can kind of guide your thingy better you know last minute uh, corrections but it does have a major damage penalty so 
maybe you do not want to do that, you know. The, the, you, the, it has its downsides. I, I like the vanilla version without the, all the fancy stuff better, I think. But, uh... Laser guns and uh, such could definitely work for you. It's, it's, it's not really... I wouldn't unrecommend it. I wouldn't say it's bad. Let's just say it like that. So yeah, you can uh, modify that a bit. Oh, uh, by the way, it also works. You can also use it in combination with Pyro, although there is some wonkiness with that going on. I don't, I kind of not. I don't really like the Pyro version, but you can make sure your enemies stay on fire at least for the duration of the uh, the flak. You can kind of finish them up with a secondary weapon. As with most most burst fire weapons, the, your uh, best secondary would be something along the lines of a full auto weapon like a full auto beam beams are great finishers so that's that's definitely I would I would recommend a beam as a secondary maybe a rifle uh, so, something that's not like, it's kind of an all-round weapon because like you can't fire this weapon multiple times in a fight very effectively <laughs> You know, you have to reload, which is like, it has like a, let me see, it's like a 2.6 uh, 2 second reload time, so that's quite long. And you have to load it up again, and then you have to make sure your target's in, f in your vision, so, th so that's not, it's not very efficient to use it as a primary weapon. But you can kind of use it as an opener weapon and then finish them off. And you can also blind and surprise them by this... Storm of Tesla Flex. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite weapons. And the gameplay there, I have, sh I have in the video playing right now that it's all on Blitz because, as I said in the beginning of the video, it's just awesome on Blitz. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can use it to get a bunch of premature detonations, like just annihilate all the rockets. So it's kind of a shield too. If you kind of put it in front of your enemy, maybe he runs into it while he's firing his rockets and you break his rockets and damage him at the same time while you switch to your secondary and finish him off with a weapon. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, have a good day, I'd say. Riders on the storm Riders on the storm